This is Minute Mask Tip 9 of 10 with Jeremy Schuback. Often when I'm finishing up a selection, there's a little bit of a halo that goes around it. And if I click on the mask and then double click it to get into properties, so that's right here. Let's get rid of all of this junk right there. There we go. And click on select and mask. I could simply kind of go into radius and refine the selection. You can see how it's just kind of fixing it a little bit there. Maybe shift the edge a little bit. And while this is nice, like it went from, let me show the original, and then let me show where it is here, it fixed a lot of it. My issue that I get into is while it fixed some areas, other areas still are presenting problems. So sometimes what I like to do is instead of doing all of the edge at once, because Select and Mask changes all of the uh, edge as one, you know, one unit, I like to go in and only affect parts of it at a time. And in order to do that is a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna show you this and it's gonna take four or five steps. Please stick with me as I show you them and I'll show you them one more time. So I'm just gonna escape out of this. And now instead of going into select and mask in order to fi fix this edge, I'm gonna hold down command, control on a PC, and then click this thumbnail. With that clicked, so let's zoom in, what this would allow me to do on the mask here, I'm just gonna hit my brush tool, make sure it's set to default colors. I could get out of it, go into it, which while nice, isn't what I wanna do. So if I hit on my lasso tool and select inverse, I so just right clicked right there, select inverse. Now if I click my brush tool, not that way, I'm gonna hit X and go this way, I'm able to lightly get rid of that line on the edge. I haven't even feathered it. I haven't done anything. I'm just able to brush along the edge to get rid of that white line. Now, the issue right here is while I'm getting rid of it, these dancing ants, the border of the selection, is getting in the way. And there's actually a way to hide it. If you hit Command-H, here, let's go to a place that still has the border right here. If you hit Command-H, it hides this border. And it looks like it completely went away but if you hit Command H again, you can see the border is still there. The active region is still there. It's just hidden. So again, in order to get this going, I, I just undid, I just uh, hit Command D to deselect everything. I'm going to hit Command and then click on the thumbnail of the, uh, of the mask. Then this gets the active region. Then hit my lasso tool, right click to select inverse, and then hide it with Command H. So the selection is still there. Now when I go to my brush, I'm able to brush in on black. If you look at the mask, I'm just alt-clicking to go into the mask, you can see that what I'm doing, here, let's zoom into that edge, is going from this edge to this edge. Now it gets even a little bit deeper. Let's say that you wanna feather this edge in different parts. So I could, I could keep going through this. Remember, the active region is still set. Um, let's say that you wanna feather um, the edge down here. So instead of just going like this, you want it a little bit feathered, although that does actually look nice. Uh, what you can do, I'm gonna hit Command H just so you can see this, and I'm going to right click, I hit the lasso tool and now I'm able to right click, and then hit feather. And I'm just gonna feather it by one pixel. And this gives me even finer control. So if I alt click to go into this, and then I brush in, so let's Command H to hide this. Now, not only, and then let's look at this and click here, not only, Am I able to just kind of get rid of that halo edge? I'm able to go in a little bit deeper and even feather the edge in certain areas. So I'm affecting it here, but I'm not affecting it in other places. And it's kind of the final step after you get the mask, after you do select and mask, after you get all of the changes and you still have a halo or something, this is a way to get rid of that. You can mess around with, here, Command H, you can mess around with how much it's feathered. You can even go into this selection, hit select, Selected Mask, and change this selection itself and continue to get finer control, but we're not gonna get that advanced right here. This is a one minute tip that has probably already gone over time. If you liked this, this is just a hint, just a sample of the sort of stuff that I get into in the full course how to make great selections using masks in Photoshop. Go from a beginner to an expert in less than two hours time. I will take you through all of the examples from simple ones to selecting out things such as hair. I'll show you images that are worth selecting, images that aren't worth selecting, and also how you can go about selecting an image that is not worth selecting. So check out the course. Uh, the link is right below in the description.